Hello everybody, welcome! I'm Petra Lohmeyer and this is The Nevelle Show and it's just a quickie today. Today is Win Win Tech Day. Now if you have Win Win Tech, that means tech that is good for the environment and for animals but also for humans, or you invest in it and you would like to be featured, just let us know. Just contact us on info at neval.co.uk and uh, we can have a chat, we can record something before you can send us your reel. Now, the peaceful resistance piece on Mondays will only run for about two or three months, um, depending on how much I find in that interesting little book. Uh, it's not supposed to be a full resistance um, a blog here. I'm just including that because I promised it in the pets course and it was just too much and would have over uh, loaded the pets course because the pets course is really about positive ways of how to address this to ahead of trouble right in the beginning and not to actually go into this rather warlike stance but um, it needed to be addressed as well so this is why we are doing this on Mondays at the moment but I'm not planning on doing this forever so Monday will also be in, in future replaced with win-win tech again um, and um, let's just get into win-win tech right away because there are some really interesting developments in there um, those of you who remember the plastic challenge a couple of years ago, um, those of you who don't remember, there was a plastic challenge that I started a couple of years ago when I was still in Spain, when I saw that all that plastic was on the beach and also floating rather um, unhappily in the ocean. I started every day when I was going jogging, I just started picking up some um, plastic and then I also challenged other people doing that as well. And then there were all kinds of plastic challenges. So um, now I just actually found something very, very interesting and this post and I'm going to um, post this and show you the video. This is, and I'm going to read this to you as well, just in case you can't read it on the video that well. Um, this is a Brazilian company that takes recycling to the next level through blockchain. Interestingly enough, this is a post by the World Economic Forum and Uplink. And I thought it was really, really interesting because it really fit into the theme. And um, so they're doing this through blockchain. And the interesting thing is there's also Accenture is a part of this. And I know Accenture because I've worked with them before. And um, they tend to be very, very good at IT. So if they are involved in this, I'm sure that this is going to be an interesting project using an algorithm green mining maps out where weight is being generated is here on the screen and you see the little picture there and sets up neighborhoods recycling hubs in those places. Then collectors tour registered venues such as shops and restaurants, collecting their waste and bringing it to the hubs on emission-free tricycles. Once a hub is full, Green Mining sends its contents to recycling companies for processing. At each stage of the process, the material is weighed and tracked via blockchain. So Green Mining can make sure it's all disposed of properly. It's already working with companies from AB InBev to Unileather, providing safe, stable work for people with few job opportunities, while drawing Brazil cities into the circular economy. Now, this is really interesting. So this is Rodrigo Oliveira, the founder, and he reiterates again that where they are actually um, collecting this, all the glass from the building, the residential buildings, after the material is collected, they bring it to a hub and weigh it again. Uh, and insert it into a system to guarantee that once it was collected, uh, it has actually been received. And then you, everything's done on the system using blockchain, so they guarantee that all the data won't be changed by anyone, which is really interesting. I wouldn't have thought that anybody would be interested in changing collection data from garbage. But then again, you may not. I think there's quite a lot of um, uh, money actually in that as well. Brazil, um, and I, I think that because interestingly enough, I went to this property workshop, um, I think three years ago or something in, in the UK when I started going to these personal development courses. And I just wanted to check that out as well. And then just take a look at what's going on there because I don't really have that background from my own family so um, I thought I'll, I'll check this out and it was one of the biggest property investors in the UK actually turns out that he is hugely into waste as well and he wouldn't be if it wasn't hugely profitable so Brazil is the world's fourth largest producer of plastic waste apparently it says here then in the video again recycling only 1.28 percent of the 11.4 million tons and Brazil's lowest income people bear the brunt of this plastic waste. 
uh, which pollutes life-giving rivers, spreads disease and triggers floods in local communities. And researchers have also found plastic in the stomach of Amazon fresh fish species. Green, green Mining is a member of the Circular Accelerator program led by Accenture in a partnership with Uplink, Ecolab and Anglo-American. What's your biggest solution for making our world more sustainable? Isn't that a beautiful win-win question? For more innovations helping to solve the world's challenges, visit Uplink. So I thought I'd bring this to you today because this is a really beautiful way of how to find win-win situations. There's a whole hub there. There is um, the World Economic Forum that is regularly publishing these um, these posts. And they are incredibly interesting solutions out there. And this is basically what I want to bring to you in the next few weeks and months. There may be also other um, sources that I get. There may be some people who come on the show. There may be some interviews. I don't know yet. So um, I hope this is going to be interesting to you. There are certainly going to be some investment opportunities in there, I would think, and some ways of getting into all this. I found it very interesting that blockchain is in this now too, which means all the financing companies are probably going to be interested in that because guess where I found where I work together was Accenture. It, you know, so I'm, I'm not going to say in which company it was, but you, know, you can probably guess. So this was the really interesting post for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is um, the most interesting bit that happened this week. And I don't know, know exactly what it's going to be yet, but you will see tomorrow. So live strong and prosper and um, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.